Come on. My plants either die because I give them too much water or too little water. I need a device that tells me how much water my plant exactly needs. So the plan is as follows. I create a 3D model of my room, just in small. Then I replace all the plants with LEDs that will alarm me when my plants get low on water. I will have the LEDs turn red if the plant is really dry. Blue will show that the plant just has been watered. To build this project I need three components. The main one being the capacitive soil sensor. It measures the moisture content of the media surrounding it, so it can detect if a plant is dry or if it's already watered. To control the sensors I use the RF Nano. This is an Arduino Nano that has a radio module on it. With it I can transmit data wirelessly between sensor and base. Finally an RGB LED will be used to display the moisture content of my plants. Let's take a quick look how the sensor actually functions. You might know that the capacitor is made up of two plates that hold charge. The energy is stored in the electric field between the two plates. If we now introduce another material that is more susceptible to electric fields than air, our capacity rises as the energy in our electric field also rises. Water, lucky for us, has a very high electric susceptibility as it's a polar molecule that's easily polarized. Great, our sensor is now able to detect how much water is on its surface. The Arduino can now read this sensor and transmit the data over radio. The other Arduino receives it and then adjusts the color of the LED accordingly. For each sensor I print a housing that fits the sensor itself and the Arduino Nano. I designed this unit to be connected via a USB cable, but it would also be possible to just include a battery. With the deep sleep function of these Arduinos, one battery would last for ages. The print of my room came out pretty good. It's a bit hard to see on camera with the color just being plain black. You could also paint the room I guess, but as I'm not much of an artist myself, I decided to just leave it black. I glued the two LEDs in place with just a bit of hot glue. Now all that was left to do was to solder things up. and things ended up working quite nicely. The sensors just connected with the USB to power and as you can see as soon as I water the plants, the sensor turns blue. Here a close up of the sensor while I was watering the other plant. So you tell me guys, do you also think it turned out great? I would be happy if you subscribe and I will see you next time. Oh wait, wrong channel.